Hi, I'm Jill, if we haven't met. And in this video, you're gonna learn about, a, well, just shy of 15 minutes, a lower body sequence on the ball that you can use anytime. And I will see you on the inside in just a few minutes. Look after yourself. Hi, grab your ball and have a seat. Let's get started. So the first thing that I want you to do is just make sure that both of your sitting bones are down into the ball, that they're not pointing forward or behind you, but they're actually pointing down. So if you need to tuck your hands under your bottom and feel where your sitting bones are at, go ahead and do that for a moment and you're going to continue to bounce. And at this point, it's okay if your feet are anywhere in space on the ground. We'll tidy that up in just a minute here. And once your sitting bones start to drop straight down into the ball, you can remove your hands, just bring them to your thighs or anywhere that's comfy for you. And then you're gonna just adjust and get your feet aligned so that, excuse me, so that they're um, in parallel about two, one to two fist widths apart with all of your toes pointing forward. And all this time, you're just keeping the balance going. And we're going to layer on some footwork here. So continuing to bounce, rolling to the balls of the feet and bounce, lower the heels and bounce, lift the toes, keep the balance going all the time, lower the toes, rise the heels, lower the heels and lift the toes. Let's do that two more times. Lift your heels, keep bouncing and lower your heels and lift the toes and lower your toes. Keep that bounce going and your feet parallel, but if you need to make a little bit of an adjustment, go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna alternate feet. So one heel up, and switch and switch good keep it going keep the bounce going and switch and switch and alternate soften deep in your hips and switch and switch and one more time, switch it up and anchor both feet to the ground. Now we're gonna alternate, but we're gonna alternate with the toe lift. So pick a side, the ball of the foot and the toes come off and switch and switch. Keep the bounce going, good. Balls and toes come off and alternating sides. And again, switch it up and switch. And one more time here, switch and switch and rest. Keep the bounce going though. And we're just gonna add a little bit um, more intensity to it. So a little bitty hop, kind of syncopated. See if you can get your feet off as you keep the bounce going. Good, and just keep that energy moving, keeping your spine nice and supple. We'll take a few more here. Bouncing and hopping, getting your heart rate up a little bit. And then just come to rest in the lower body, well, in the feet, but keep the hips bouncing. And then we're gonna just slow that bounce down and move it into a glide, maintaining parallel, parallel if you need to adjust your feet in relationship to the ball a little bit, go ahead. And now you're gonna glide like you're in a gliding rocking chair. So forward and back, getting your toes and your knees, your middle toes and your knees aligned with the center of your hips. 
just gliding forward and back and again forward and back and keep that glide going and we're going to play a little bit so we're going to add some stirring motion in our thigh bones so we're going to glide forward and then your thigh bones are going to swing to one side as you move back and then they're going to go all the way around so i'll just keep moving just join in and see if you can keep your thigh bones parallel to each other and your feet not gripping but gently anchored on the floor and let's reverse it swing the other way and around and around good and around and swing it to the left or right and then alternate and rest readjust if you need to and now we're going to take a similar motion, but we're going to open the thigh bones, keep your feet on the floor, and then roll them in. Open out and roll them in. Check in with your foot connection into the ground, opening out and in and out. One more time, roll them in and reverse. So I kind of like to think of it as my, the, my knees are kind of tracing my foot imprint if that makes any sense if not just ignore it but it makes sense to me for some reason that's about how big the circle is letting them fall in just having a sense of your thigh bones falling in the sockets and rolling out and rolling in and rolling out last one here and rest now we're going to come into a little bit wider second position so we're a little bit rotated now and wider in the hips and we're going to take a side to side so grounding through your feet and allowing the ball to move so see if you can keep your sitting bones anchored on the ball evenly the tendency is for one of them to kind of come up See if you can keep them both equally grounded and connected into the ball and your feet grounded as well. So pushing through one side as you glide in the opposite direction and then alternating push and glide and push and glide and push and glide. Good, again, push and glide and rest. So now we're gonna add a little bit. We're gonna stay here, but we're gonna change the pathway of motion front to back. So you can put your hands on the ball if you'd like, and you're gonna add a little bit of a spring forward. So it's a good way to check in with your balance. You can add a gentle point to the feet if you would like, a hop and a spring. And your spine will move forward in space and you'll hinge at the hips. So spring, good and hop and spring and gently pressing your fingertips down into the ball as you extend your legs and again spring good and one more and last one here and rest you can bring your feet back into parallel and readjust your sitting bones and then we're going to take a circle so you're literally going to circle the ball underneath you while you keep your sitting bones on the ball and keep your thighs parallel to each other and your feet grounded. So again, the tendency is gonna to be to wanna to lift one hip, but just see if you can keep both hips down as you move through that circle. Really swinging your tail like a big giant dinosaur tail Swing it behind to the side, swing it under and forward, and let's reverse it. Swing it side and back, and side, and forward, and side, and back, and again side, and forward, and rest. We're gonna walk ourselves um, down into a bridge position. I'm gonna just turn sideways so you can see me better. So just again, take a moment to make sure that you haven't lost your sitting bone connection to the ball and your foot connection into the ground. And then you're just gonna start walking yourself out forward until you feel the curve of your lower back 
hugging the shape of the ball. So a lot of us lose that very healthy lumbar curve. It either gets over exaggerated or flattened. So just see if you can find that gentle curve hugging the ball. And then you're gonna take your hands behind your head and we're gonna open up the spine, feeling the front of the spine open, and then just gently curve and round, feeling the back side of the spine open. So think of it more as a spinal movement rather than an abdominal crunch. So opening the back side of the spine and opening the front side of the spine. Good, again, opening the back side of the spine. Ooh, that's making me shake. And then opening the front side of the spine and take two more, feel the back joints of your body open and undulate down and feel the front side of your body open. One more here, rolling it up. Keep that lumbar curve hugging the ball, soft in the hips, roll it back and rest. Roll yourself down a little bit farther and just put your hands, um, let me see, I'm gonna back up so I'm where you can see me better. Put your hands on the floor if you'd like and take one foot across and then if that doesn't work for you to have both hands on the floor, just move one to wherever it needs to be and see if you can find some sensation through the back side of that hip. Just allowing it to kind of rest like it's in a hammock or a sling. And take a few breaths until you just come into your body in this shape. And let's switch. I definitely have a side that's way less stable than it would be, whoa, this side. So, hello Lilith. Hi. You doing your debut today? And so you're opening up the back side of that hip that's up. You don't, you don't need to press your knee out or in or anything. Just be where you're at and then allow your breath to soften the shape and your body will open up naturally when you don't push on it or force it into place. And then unwind. Good. Pressing your feet in the floor, into the floor. See if you can walk yourself up. and rest. So that's it just for a short, simple 10 minute lower body sequence. You can use it maybe before as a warm up before something else or just something to wake you up in the morning or just something when you get bored. Maybe if you work at home, get the ball out and have a little bounce around. It's fun and it gets your heart rate up and it's, it's challenging, which is a good way to shift stagnant energy. So thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye for now.